Okay, so the final session that I'm going to do is going to be to draw a tulip using a biro. So you could have a go at drawing a tulip or another flower or another object, a leaf. Um, it could be any of those things. And I'm going to show you how to draw using a biro because it works very similar to that of a pencil. So the whole theme about um, the Wellbeing Week this year is to do with nature. So this is encouraging us to go outside, look at the things that are around us and, you know, work from those. So part of um, well-being is kind of really helping you to find that avenue of um, interest and to allow yourself some quiet time, some calm time to kind of clear your mind and just focus on one thing. Our lives are very busy and by doing a piece of artwork and focusing on an object in front of you, it really enables us just to focus on the beauty of this object. For example, with this tulip, it almost looks like little hairs um, coming out on the tulip here. And actually, when you stop and look at it, um, it's actually, you know, apart from the fact it looks beautiful um, from a distance, but actually looking up close, I can see lots of differences in the way it's been um, created. So I'm going to start off by moving my sketchbook to portrait. That will just be a bit easier for me to work from. And I'm just going to place my tulip here. And I'm just going to have a go at starting to draw this out. So again, don't worry too much. Um, let's just start the pen. There we go. So you can work with it from hard like this. Take the pressure off to mid tone. Take the pressure off to light tone. It's lovely. It works exactly like that of a um, of a pencil. I'll just do that again because I realised that didn't show. So from dark tone like so, take the pressure off to mid-tone and to light-tone, okay. So I'm going to start off with just drawing the tulip as I see it laying on the other side of the page. That's also hopefully a little bit more helpful to you as well. So the main thing I can see here is this petal. So I'm just going to draw that coming up and I'm drawing it very, very lightly. And I can see some sort of indents sort of coming around and down. And just drawing the side coming up. So this is something that you guys could all do as a family. You could um, go for a lovely walk, um, find some wildflowers, and you could have a go at bringing those back to do a drawing or a painting. It doesn't have to be um, in biro. It's just most people tend to have a biro available at home. I'm just going to make that slightly bigger, that front petal. Okay, so I've drawn out the outside shape and again, if you wanted to, like I showed um, in my first session with the shell, you could actually have a go at just drawing around it very carefully just to give you an, um, an imprint of it. Um, and there's different ways of you can do that um, with a pencil if you wanted to. Um, and that would just hopefully get you feeling a little bit more confident with um, working with using a pencil and working from direct observation. So I'm just going to put the stem in. And then I'm just going to start and look and I can see here, for example, it's slightly darker down here. So I can just start to put in again, these sort of chunking of shapes. And they're sort of coming out, spreading out like a fan. And as it sort of comes around, it actually gets darker. So it doesn't matter that I've done that a little bit. Um, further in. So what I can do, what I want to do around the edge is much darker. So I'm just going to start off by building up the layers. I 
And as you're doing this activity, you can just really focus on the object in front of you and just relax. You don't have to think about anything else other than your drawing. You don't have to worry about the outcome, just enjoy the process. Because every time we are picking up a pen or a pencil, we are developing our skills, we're becoming more confident with our marks. So as you can see, it's sort of coming like a slight um, crease. So I'm just going to put some of that coming down. And then I'm just going to take the pressure off. And they're almost like little hair-like structures of the tulip. And I'm, that's because I'm looking so carefully. I keep looking at the tulip in front of me. And you know, this is nature, these are nature items that I've chosen, but if you really aren't that interested in things that are outside and going on a walk, it could be things that are important to you just from your house. So you could draw objects or items that surround you, um, which give you joy to look at, whether that's, you know, little ornaments or action figures or, um, things like that, you know, is, this is your time to relax. So it's important that you are looking at something which you're getting some benefit from. So everything that I'm doing is very, very light. trying to keep it in the same direction. And then you can see here on this one, there's like a darker bit and a lighter bit either side. So I'm just gonna make that darker and then leave that central bit lighter. And again, just kind of work with this feathered edge. Thank you. 
some less petal is sort of coming up and across up to this point. So inside here it's quite, it's quite dark, so I need to show that. And then very lightly some sort of lighter sort of bits here and then just that edge. So that edge is actually quite light as well. So what I'm going to do is leave a very, very light little white line almost just on that edge like so. And then just very faintly just start to put in some of this darker feathering. And I can just get that a little bit darker on that edge. And notice how I'm holding my pen as well. I'm not holding it up here. I'm holding it quite far away. And it's really dark in here with a very slight little lip of lightness there so you can build it up again. And it's important to work with the shape of the tulips petals and noticing where the fanning of the lines is going.
just going to make that a bit, a bit darker. So I'm just going back over and accentuating some of these darker elements.
Okay, so there you have it. There's your biro drawing of a tulip. Um, but you could do that with any object that you find in nature. And um, yeah, once you have had a go, then hopefully you'll feel more confident about picking up a pen, picking up a pencil or fine liner or anything that you've got at home um, just to have a go at having a bit of downtime and a bit of time for you just to um, think about yourself and think about um, the object that you're looking at. Enjoy.